I'm back. We're not frozen anymore. I have no idea what happened. I'm back. I'm back. Y'all, I'm just going to tell you, if you're watching me live at any point in time, if, if, I, I'm just going to tell you the power would have to go, my power would, have, but I have two sources for my internet, so if one source goes out, I have a backup, so you would just have to kind of like bear with me, and I'll, I, I click on the other one, okay, and I just got to reconnect. Just to let y'all know, I have a backup plan for the internet. Okay, y'all, I switched to the other internet. That one may be getting interrupted, so I just went ahead and switched that time. I'm looking directly at my router, and it's green. But that doesn't mean anything sometimes, so I just went ahead and switched, see if we can make it through it. Otherwise, it's a problem with the OBS on my computer. So, alright. Moving on. Alright, so we're going to cut our ribbon 14 inches, and you're going to need 8 of each. I'm not frozen anymore. And I'm telling you what, I'm starving. My husband better be cooking dinner. <laughs> Y'all, I am so hungry that before I went live, I set everything out for my husband. The pots, the pans, the food. Hint, hint, hint. Y'all ever bury yourself in something and lose total track of time? Everything's going... I haven't eaten today. I have not eaten today. If we're having storms, it's not like right here. Of course, that doesn't mean anything. You know, it can be some somewhere else close. But if there's any storms on around me, my head's been buried in the sand all day. I mean, buried in the sand. So. <clears throat> I'm telling you, running your own business loses its luster at tax time. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. No, we cannot see the fish because I already showed him, Lori. Okay, so I don't know if Lord, I don't know if these fish are available at Unique in the Creek. I'm not sure, but I did see on the website today that there is a really nice metal fish that y'all can use as a substitute. And I'm gonna give you the idea for the metal fish because some of y'all might see have it jumping out. The metal fish. When y'all see it on the website, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, but you can use that metal fish and kind of have it jumping up out of the reef okay so there's your little substitute because I have these and they're fish picks Lori do we have these because if you did I didn't see that but yeah they've got the fishing poles and everything so like I said I kind of perused I kind of perused the website to see I didn't see these necessarily that doesn't mean anything y'all like 
my head was buried in the sand today. But I did see, like I said, a fish. And you just take the dude and make him go this way across the reef. It'll be super cool. Okay. When you see the fish, you'll know what I'm talking about. Lori, I can't remember. Did you get the um, the two-piece fish attachment this year? Y'all, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, like, when I'm doing these reefs as of late, with the rectangle board, a lot of this stuff, y'all have to keep in mind, I've been in business for years. Some of this stuff may not be around anymore. I don't think these are kind of thing. So that's why I'll let y'all know the substitute I would use. In lieu of. But I'm kind of getting pretty excited because my, I've been working, y'all, this is how deep my stash is. I have been working on dwindling it down for three years now. And I'm getting so close to it being dwindled and I'm excited. Because if you have too much of a stash, y'all, I'm here to tell you it just like prevents you from shopping. So that's why I'm showing y'all too, and I'm like, how to use the leftovers. It's just like this basket weave ribbon. Y'all, I've had it for years. Years. Oh, wait till y'all see what I do. I, I, like, had this idea. So, wait till y'all see what I do. Like, I like to do, I like to make sure that my elements pop off my wreath. So that's why I use different colors, but we don't worry, we've got greenery and stuff. And, and you'll see here in a minute where the red and white comes in as well. I have a surprise, but y'all almost saw it when I first started on that. I pushed it out of the way, so y'all haven't seen it yet. All right, so let's make our bow. Do -do 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 -do. Oh gosh. Mm. Mm.
you know it's bad i had to clean up my work area this morning to work on my taxes and then to go live i had to clean i've done a lot of cleaning of my work area today Just know that this is actually starting to make me happy to see these. By the way, my motto is, if you don't know what ribbon to pick, pick Harlequin. It goes with everything. Oh, it was just enough, y'all. <laughs> I like that. I like it like that. That made me a little bit excited. Now this I know is on the website. There is all kinds of striped ribbon on the website. Now, the reason I'm using this striped ribbon as opposed to the Rick Rack is so that my bow will pop up a little bit better. I hear some sizzling. Bees. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to put some green into the bow because we are using greenery for this. So we're going to add some of the mossy greeny, like the fishy too. Yes, please use my affiliate link when you're shopping. In case you forgot here it is and my affiliate link is also in the description in case you don't get catch it in the comments Alright, since this is the only green that I'm going to put into the bow, we're going to double loop it.
I don't have, that's all I have of this, so we're just going to incorporate it in the bow somewhere. Y'all, let me do this with it. Hold on. I'm just going to slide this in as a ribbon tail underneath. That's it. That's all I have of it. So we're just going to incorporate it in as a tail. And then because I did four loops. I'm going to do three loops of the red and white on top. I hear progress, y'all. I think I crammed my bows in too tight, y'all. Now, I will give you one skew tonight because people are constantly looking for something that looks seaweed type, fish like, whatever, for greenery and whatnot. And I actually have something. So I, I did hold on to the skew for that. So maybe y'all can find it somewhere. I don't know. Once again, I've had it for a while. Hello, my friends. Everybody's being so quiet. Most of the time, either people are being quiet because they're thoroughly watching me or they're judging my choices. Which is it, y'all? Are you thoroughly watching or judging? How many of y'all would admit to judging? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
working and lurking. Alright, let's get into the greenery. So, I'm going to tell y'all what I did. Literally, I had leftover, 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 and so y'all wouldn't have to sit there and watch me. I combined them. The one that you're going to be interested in the most is probably this pick. Let me show you up close. Because it looks like seaweed to me. I don't know if that's what it is. I'm not sure kind of don't care my friends it looks like seaweed to me right so that's the one that I saved the skew number off of because something that looks like it's water type is kind of hard to find I'm pretty sure that I bought it local somewhere but, I want y'all to know the good news is, is that the skew on it is a company that a lot of people order from when I find it. It was right here, y'all. Oh, there it is. Yella. Now, we don't make fun of Monkey when she's not here. Summon Monkey. Somebody summon her. That's the skew, my friends. Okay. But like I said, what I did is I had leftover grass. And combined this in with the leftover grass. And I had two different kinds of leftover grass, three of each. Well, actually, yeah, three of each. And I combined them. To look like this. See how it has a neat fishy effect now? Like a lakey effect? Like if you're going fishing? So that's what I did. Like I said, I took a grass pick and combined this with this one and made my own kind of pick. Okay, but before we add those, I'm going to show y'all my little treat, my little treat treat. I thought I would save it for last, but we kind of need to make it part of the design. We have bobbers, y'all. And we're going to do something cool with these bobbers. Now, you can just get bobbers anywhere, but what we're actually going to do with these is we're going to use them to cover our pipe cleaners. Push in, and there's a hook on the end. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to hook that on our pipe cleaner and let that sit. And then to keep it from sliding off, y'all, a dab of hot glue. Just a little dab will do ya. And nobody will see it. And then once it dries, the glue dries. Now I'm, I'm, I 
I think before I fold the pipe cleaner, we'll dab the glue this time. And then once the glue cools down, you can make different adjustments to your bobbers. And then they're really bobbing around your wreath. I thought that was kind of cool. That was my idea for tonight. It is. And they're really inexpensive, y'all. The bobbers. They're really, really, I can't remember how much I paid for them because I keep these on hand. Believe it or not, because they're so inexpensive. <clears throat> let's get some, let's get our greenery going on here. All right, so tonight for this, because this is a little bit heavy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly in the middle of the grass. And just to double secure my pick, I'm going to give this little tie with my pipe cleaner. Okay? Like I said, this pick is a little bit heavy, so I'm not going to trust hot glue alone. For this one. So like I said, we're going to put some hot glue on it and then we're going to twist our pipe cleaner through there just to make sure that it's good and secure and it's not going to come out of the ring. Jute mesh isn't as stiff. It's pretty soft and pliable. So that would be the other reason for doing this. Because if you use a pick that's too heavy, it's just going to droop. It'll pull on your mesh. And the way that the grass is designed, it kind of helps the grass spread. As well by tying it with the pipe cleaner. Everybody with me so far? There's my tips for the night.
What do y'all think so far? Man, when y'all get quiet, you get quiet. Scary quiet, my friend. Oops. I actually designed this one to go down here. Let me sidetrack here. I grabbed the wrong one. Go ahead. What's your question, Jessica? Fire at will. Or should I say at your own risk? Sorry, y'all know me. I gotta fix my ribbon, y'all. Y'all, I'm sorry. We're talking about food. That is, okay, and um, Lori has it on the website, Jessica. That is called Crafter's Foam or Ollie. Excuse me. Uh, Eva foam, E V A, Eva foam, and Lori has it on the website. It's all the colors that you could possibly want. It's that foam that Lori sells, Jessica. It's on the website. Alright, so I got one more greenery that I want to add, y'all, and it's a whole lot lighter. Yeah, once you start using the heat gun, Jessica, for um, that, you'll start using it a whole lot more to do flower petals and things like that, to shape them. I use it to make cupcakes. Um, I don't know if you saw my cupcake, cupcake tutorial, but it's there along with that one.
And then you know I use that heat gun to make those curlies with the um, pool noodles, right? Probably for the pool noodles, Jessica, because I did that tutorial months ago. That's what it was. It was the pool noodle thing. The curly pool noodle. That's what you bought that heat gun for. You saw me do that. I'm just guessing, Jessica. Alright, so this greenery that I'm using is lighter, so that's why I'm not having to worry about tying it in. But I am making sure that I poke it really deep into my mesh. Aw, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Okay, now, I've got one more left over that I'm going to use to add greenery, and then we're going to add the fish. These, to me, look like something down at the lakes. Where are you fishing? I don't know what. I don't know what. So we're going to use them. They're leftovers. Y'all saw me use these the other night. And that also helped put another shade of green in. I'm just trying to show y'all here lately that you can do amazing stuff to, with your leftovers to make money and then you can buy more supplies. It's like the circle of life, my friends. What'd you do different? Hmm? Oh, dummy. Yep. Well, I'm here to tell y'all, these rectangular wreaths are like a surefire way to make money. They're doing so well in my shop. My customers are loving them. 
it hit the good price point. It's a win-win all the way around. And everybody likes a win-win, right? See how that just adds that little final texture? It adds that little final something something, y'all. Let's add some fishy, shall we? We shall. I want to do this real quick just to kind of so you can get these cheap there's some larger ones I think I want to just put the larger ones on to kind of just like put the oh, icing on the cake y'all See, see, see. It's the little things sometimes, my friend, that makes a big difference. You don't always have to do big to, to do it. You can do little. All right. This little fishy went to uniqueinthecreek.com. And this little fishy use Jackie's affiliate link when he went shopping at uniqueinthecreek.com. Once the glue dries, I'll, they're on a, a wire, and I'll model those fishies around just a little bit more. 
I wasn't sure if I'd use the fourth one, but I believe we're going to. No, we're not frozen again. I like how the big bobbers, do y'all see how they really pop and everything off of there? Where'd my fourth fish go? Oh. I spun him around and around, didn't I? That poor fish went round and round with the reef, didn't he? Kind of angle these around first. No, I think three is going to work, y'all. I don't think we're going to get that fourth one on there. Eh. We'll put him up in the bow. How about that? No, I don't like that. We're not going to get that fourth one on there. If we put him down there, he looks like a dead fish. Nope, he just isn't going to work. And that's okay, because I can buy um, 
one of the fishing signs, the bobber signs for me, to, and just use this because the sign is 12 inches. So that'll kind of like be the perfect size to complement that wreath to put a fish on it. There's a sign that says Dawn Fishing, a red bobber sign. So I'll just get that sign to go with it and use it. Hello, my Buster Boo. How strange of you to stop by while I'm live. Buster, for some reason, y'all started going downstairs when I was live. I have no idea why. Like, not a clue. And he just started doing it all of a sudden. You know what I do think, y'all? I think I'm going to pop just a couple of these into my bow. I think my bow just my bow just needs a little hint of the greenery, y'all. And y'all will see what a difference that makes when you pop a little greenery into your bow. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. And stuff like this I might save for a carrot next year. That looks like a carrot popper. I think he gets annoyed with hearing my voice. I get annoyed with hearing my voice sometimes. Oh. See what a difference a little greenery makes in your bow? Doesn't take much. But it kind of makes your bow look like it's more a part of the wreath instead of standing off the wreath. my friends guess what happens this week that has that does that doesn't happen y'all are going to get to see me three times because y'all are going to see me saturday saturday y'all get to see me three times this week what are y'all going to do with yourselves saturday is Lori's birthday bash my friends and y'all know Lori has a big birthday bash so you're all going to want to join us Saturday. You'll get to see all the Unique in the Creek designers in one day. What are y'all going to do with yourselves? Y'all don't want to miss that. Right? Something about games and prizes, I don't, I don't know. A full day of lives and fun stuff going on. Lori's birthday, y'all. Y'all will have to join in. Ta-da! 
it needs like a very small gone fishing sign like very very small not too big but like a a small y'all know what i mean like you would put in a fish tank size all right y'all y'all have a good rest of the day i will see y'all saturday um monkeys on first then me then it goes from there i'm pretty sure Lori will get the schedule posted so y'all know when to expect us i think the fun starts at 11 a.m saturday schedule will be posted there you go tina kelly is on the spot with the schedule all right y'all see y'all saturday